tuning back into Brick View 7. Today I am reviewing the defensive crate. It is set number 75202 and is recommended for ages 9 through 14. There are 746 pieces and it contains 5 minifigures. It is an $85 set. Also, it is not currently in stores, but on January 1st of 2018, it will be available in stores. Here on the front of the box, as you can see, the vast majority of it, which is the metal, is an action scene of the whole set. And then in the bottom left, you can see all the minifigures included of this set. And then in the middle left, you can see all the information I just told you. And then in the top left, you can see the logos. And then on the right left, you can just see the picture that says that this is a Last Jedi set. That is all there is on the front of the box. Here we have the back of the box. So as you can see, in the middle is a just a shot of the whole set with the minifigures included. As you can see here in the top left, there is the set number and then the logos. And then all around, you can see little pictures of the action features that I will go into more detail, which has a red background to tell you that this is an action feature. And then it points to where this action feature is. And I will tell you all these action features and in more detail. That is all there is on the back of the box. Here we have the main build of this set, which is the speeder or aircraft or whatever that is used as the defensive crate. So as you can see, there is a lot of stickers on it. There's a sticker here, 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 in the back over here, and then there's even some all the way back here, and I'll show you those in a little bit. So here in the front, you can see that there's a cockpit and you can get a minifigure Poe Dameron, they, but you have to take off their gun because it can't fit in the cockpit, so you just take it off, you put them in a sitting position, and then you put them in there. And then inside it, you can see a bunch of control panels on every side, so there's one here, here, and here. And then all you have to do is just put the cockpit back on. And that's it. And then there are some guns right here. And then on the other side, there are two fake guns, but then there's also two um, missiles or like, you've seen this before if you've watched my channel for a while. In the back, you push it down. So here, I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. Right there. You push it down. And there's two of them just which is the ones I just shot. So as you can see, there's the two. So then in the middle part, right here, this is where the engine is located. You can actually pull this out. Here you go. So you can actually pull the actual engine out. And in one of the builds, which is this build right here, which I'll go into in more detail in a little bit, there's a wrench right here, as you can see, right here, and that is like, oh, you can just like fix up the engine if it's broken and stuff, so that is a feature here, and you can just easily put the engine back inside. So then for the back, as you can see, there are stickers right here, here, and here, and even on this little flags in the back. So here's an action feature. This is um, actually like here. I don't know how to describe it. It's like a little stick that goes in the ground, and it can go. But if you want it to go all the way down, there's this 2x4 piece blocking it. So you can easily just take it off to make it go like straight forward. And then once you're done with that, you put on, you put the 2x4 piece back on. So that's just a recommendation if you want it to be like it in the actual movie. And that is all there is for both the back and the 
main build itself. Next we have a side build of this set. So this is like the trenches here. So there is a turret and um, like a little trench here with a gun. And these are connected in the back right here by this connecting piece right here. And they can be together as you see right here or you can separate them which is what the box shows you and that's what I like to do so we can start off with the ball turret so as you can see there's a fake gun here and then there's a realistic gun with the missile and then as usual in the back you can see that there's this and then you just push it down and it fires and uh, I lost it. It's actually underneath this table. I'll get it afterwards. And there's actually a space to put somebody inside here. So what you can do is get rid of the person's gun, first of all. And then you have to sit them down. You see here. And then you just put them inside. And then you can act as if they're controlling this and whatnot. Or you can go to the trench right here, which has plenty of space, as you can see, and position them either, like, again, with their gun right here. Or you can take their gun off, and then you can put them right here and controlling this gun and shooting it, whatnot. And then there's just some snickers, st snickers stickers right here. Um, symbolizing like snow and salt so that is all there is for the side build of this set here we have the second side build of this set and as you can tell it is a tower so one thing you can do is that you can position your minifigure at the top like one you can like look out see the enemy or two you can actually um fire at the enemy so yeah that's one thing you can do up here and on the front there isn't much but there's a little hook right here so that you can attach it with this which i just so showed you and you just put it right there so then it's like all together but you don't have to do that and i don't like that idea um, which is why I'm doing it separately. Okay, so back to it. There isn't much on the front of it, but there is a ton of stuff on the inside. So as you can see, there is some extra missiles here. There is a wrench and then a hammer. And then there is two extra guns that comes with this set, which is really, really nice. Um... So then on the second floor, you can see that there's a control panel with an exclusive piece, um, which shows you like battle plans and stuff. So you can position one of your minifigures right here. If they want to stay on there. Yeah, and you can position one of your minifigures right there, controlling it, doing all that stuff. And on the bottom floor, you can take the minifigure that was on the top and put them on the bottom in here and let's see if they want to stay in here it's kind of hard to stick them inside and they can be shooting towards the front and there is a control panel right here i guess to control something i don't know what you'd control there isn't much to control here and then you can see the minifigure at the bottom and you can't really see the minifigure in the second floor that is all there is for this side build and all the builds of this playset. Here are the five minifigures that come in this playset. We have, from left to right, Captain Podamron, Admiral Imat, a Resistance Trooper, a First Order Snow Trooper, and then another First Order Snow Trooper. So then starting off with Captain Podamron, as you can see, he comes with a small blaster. He is wearing some brown pants. And then for his torso, he is wearing a light gray shirt 
with a black jacket over it and a belt. And then as you can see, he has some headphones over his hair or on him. And he has a pretty excited expression. Next, we go to Admiral Imat. And as you can see, he comes with binoculars and a black and a medium plaster. So for his pants, you can see they're olive green and they do have some brown straps around them. And then for his torso, he's wearing an olive green shirt and then he has a bunch of pockets and stuff over him. But he also has a belt underneath all of that. And then for his facial expression, he doesn't look too happy. He looks pretty serious. Next, we have the Resistance Trooper. So, as you can see, the Resistance Trooper is wearing light brown pants with a darker shade of brown straps around him, just like Admiral Amat. And then for his torso, you can barely see it, but there is a faint blue shirt underneath all of that. And then over it is a tan or light brown jacket. And then you can see there's a olive green um, strap with a bunch of pockets that probably contain ammunition. And he does come with a helmet and you can pull this up and you can see there is a yellow visor and you can easily take that off. You can see he doesn't really have a happy expression. He's kind of angry. And you can just put that back on. Easy like that. And now we get to the First Order Snow Troopers. They are exactly the same, so I'm only going to show you one. They both come with a medium-sized blaster. For their pants, they've got a lot of protective plates on them and same for their torso a bunch of protective plates and they've got some they've got a little control panel right here in the middle of their chest and they come with the iconic snow trooper helmet so you can easily take that off and what do you know it's an angry clone trooper face that is all there is on the front of these five minifigures here is the back of all the minifigures. I shall start off with Captain Poe Dameron. So, I don't know if you can see that because it's really hard, so I'm going to bring it closer to you guys. So, as you can see, there is some darker brown stitches in his jacket. It's kind of hard to see even when showing it up close. Oh, there you go. I think you can see it now. But there's some darker brown stitches. And you can just see more of his hair on the back. Next, we have Admiral E. Matt. And on the back, he looks to be as if he's wearing an olive green hoodie, sort of. Now that you see it, because there's kind of the hoodie formation. And you can see the strap in his belt. Now, we go to the Resistance Trooper. Which, as you can see, also is wearing the same type of clothing as Admiral Amat, just in a different color. Because it looks to be the same kind of hoodie formation. And he also does have a strap, but this time there's two straps. Um, a light brown one, and then an olive green one. And then there's a belt, and there's a pocket on the back. And you can just see the back of his helmet right now. And then we go to the First Order Snow Troopers. And then there you can see that there is more of their cloth piece, uh, which comes here. And then they have a little pack on the back just to symbolize the pack. And you can see the back of their helmets better. So that is all there is for the back of these five minifigures. After taking everything off, you can see that Captain Podemon does have a second expression and it doesn't look very happy. Admiral Imat doesn't have anything on him that is different. The Resistance Trooper does have a second expression and he is happy. And then the only thing different about the First Order Snow Troopers is that you can see the back printing and it's just an, an armor plate. So. That is all there is for the back of these minifigures.